hardest part is figuring out what you want to master. Focus on your product. Can you tell somebody that they suck? You gotta just go for This is exactly what I want to do for a living. You can't even tell somebody that their breath is fit for life. And so you were saying that like you kind of were driven in the beginning by like selfish reasons almost, right? Like I don't I want to work for myself. I want to wear whatever I want to wear, which I think is what a lot of people have kind of as their driving force when they're going to start businesses or go out on their own. And you were saying that you had to kind of switch that before you could be really successful. Yeah, right? I mean so when when I opened our first location it was 1500 square feet, so like twice the size of this office. Yeah. And you know we we started off in a warehouse. I had I had nothing. Mm-hmm. And I had because I had tried to start some other companies, they weren't successful in college. I lost some money doing that. And so I started this business bootstrapped. And at the time I thought, oh, I'm doing this because I want to be able to work for myself. I want to be able to have the hard work pay off, this and that. But in retrospect, what I should have recognized is that before I open up any company now, before we do anything, is do we have this concept of earned confidence? And this is something I talk about a lot because I think it's so important. Before I go to the CrossFit games, I'd wear a wristband on my on my wrist Uh that said earned. And what that meant for me is that when I was on the bus and I was getting ready for these crazy competitions, no one gave me anything. Mm -hmm. I earned the right to sit on that bus. Mm -hmm. And that gave me a lot of confidence because it it had been earned, right? Now looking at business the same way, I should have recognized, and I I now recognize this moving forward, that before we do anything, I wanna make sure I have the earned confidence from decades of hard work, from being an expert, from being able to do things better than other people to go out and open a business. I shouldn't have thought about, oh, I want to open a business because I want to, you know, I'm passionate and I and I want to be my own boss. Like, well, that's cool. That's a part of it. Yeah. But let's talk about, hey, should you actually open it? Are you credible? And what is your competitive advantage? Yeah. Guys, if you like that and you want to see more like it as well as vlogs, other web series and all the random stuff that I'm doing here on YouTube, don't forget to click that subscribe button. You won't regret it. I promise.